After earthquake. Mainstream scientists say there is nothing to worry about, but across seven states, people are concerned just the same. And as Charles Thomas reports from New Madrid, Missouri, even if the earthquake never hits, the camera crews have. Thank you, Mr. Browning, for putting us on the map. For months, word has spread about Ivan Browning's forecast for a major earthquake on the New Madrid Fault. Today, in the town named for the fault, the media was out in force. It's almost like a celebration. It seems nearly all the local people have been interviewed, and dozens of high-tech satellite trucks are beaming back stories on the hoopla and fear caused by one man's unscientific prediction. Even if you cover the fear, it adds to the fear. So there's no way around it now. Charlotte Grissom admits she's afraid. I just had a bigger car. The New Madrid woman filled her car with family heirlooms so they won't be left behind if there is a quake. At a moment's notice, I'm gone. Meanwhile, the local rumor mill is grinding out a steady diet of weird tales, omens that the big one is just hours away. We heard yesterday that the birds are flying backwards in New Madrid. Cows were butting their heads up against the trees. <laughs> the river boiling, you know, bubbling. I was told there were uh, two angels on the other side of St. Louis stopping traffic, telling them not to come in. <laughs> Neither rumors nor Browning's prediction have kept outsiders away. It would take a real earthquake to end what's become the festival on the fault. Charles Thomas, ABC News, New Madrid, Missouri. In our next segment, Soviet Jews arriving in Israel.